Wink News begins with breaking news. Breaking off the top at four, only Wink News is at the scene of a death investigation underway in Charlotte County. Crews say they found what's believed to be human remains at Riverside and Morning Star Drives. That's where we find Wink News anchor John Carlos Estrada, who just got to the scene. John Carlos. Amanda, we're about less than a mile from 75, east of 75, and we've been told that a human skull and some remains were found in this brush area right behind me. Now, the call came in around 1.30 from a railroad worker who was clearing the brush right behind me, and we've been told that it's a human skull and some remains. Now, I asked if it was a man or a woman or an age. They say they do not know those details right now, but they are surveying this area, trying to see if they can find more uh, remains. Uh, so, but I asked if there is any threat to this community, they said there is no threat. So if you know of anyone that lives in this area or you yourself live in this area, there is no threat. So do not worry. And we'll be asking more questions as this continues to develop. Reporting in Charlotte County, John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now. John Carlos, thank you. Breaking right now, changes are coming for 21st century oncology leadership. This is the Fort Myers-based company where some doctors are accused of ordering unnecessary cancer screenings. One of those doctors agreed to pay back more than $3.8 million to settle claims of Medicare fraud. The company announced today that Paul Rundell is now the new CEO, effective immediately. The previous CVO, CEO, that is, William Spaulding, will return to the board of directors.